everybody, what's up? So I have a really cool video for you today where I'm going to introduce you to my intensity stackers. And this is a simple way for every time you go to resistance train or weight train to get twice the muscle stimulation in half the time. Now before I talk about these four intensity stackers, uh, I kind of want to give you an analogy so that you understand what you might be leaving on the table when you work out. If you're going to be spending time in the gym working out, why not make the most out of it? This is something that I don't understand. And since 60% of exercisers are overweight, something is obviously broken with exercise plans. And intensity stackers can help you fix what's broken. And the analogy would be like driving down the football field 90 yards with your team, getting all the way to the three yard line, picking up everything, walking off the field, and not even trying to score. You're leaving all your points or all your benefits on the table. And that's what happens when you leave the gym without incorporating intensity stackers. So let's talk about how you can put these four tricks to work on your body. The first intensity stacker is called pro progressive rest reduction. Now this is just a simple way to reduce your rest periods between sets as you move throughout your workout. So for an example, let's say you pick a particular body part and you're going to do nine sets. So up here is sets one through nine. Right here. One through nine. The first three sets, you'd go ahead and rest 60 to 120 seconds or a minute to two minutes between those sets. Then you'd go ahead and you'd pick another exercise for the same exact body part. And then those second three sets, you'd rest 30 to 60 seconds between those sets. You'd go ahead and pick a third exercise for that body part. And then those last three sets, you'd only rest zero to 30 seconds. So now you're progressively reducing your rest periods as you move throughout the workout, which means you're progressively stacking the intensity so that at the end of the workout, you literally start breaking a sweat and feeling like it's almost cardio. This is a sign that you know you're going hard enough and you're incorporating and stacking the intensity the right way. The second one is called forced reps. This one you have to be kind of careful with, but it's a very effective technique. And say you're targeting 10 reps for simplicity purposes, and you get to like set number or rep number eight or nine. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna get to 10, and if you go ahead and force out that 10th rep and you sacrifice your form a little bit, it's okay. Even if you went to failure, I want you to stop, I want you to pause for five seconds. We'll go ahead and use like a curl movement for an example here. Pause for five seconds, then I want you to crank out like three more reps, two or three more reps. I want you to try this on almost all your sets. And when you do this, what will end up happening is you're going to stimulate a lot more muscle fiber and you're going to activate more fat burning hormones and you're going to burn more calories. Now you have to be careful with this technique because you're sacrificing a little bit of form and that's okay, but don't hurt yourself. So just, you know, monitor this closely, but it's a great strategy to incorporate. Number three is negatives and partials. See, if you just lift weight, lift weights or do resistance training, you don't focus on the negative or the lowering portion of the movement, you're only doing half the work and that's going to equal half the results. So you want to incorporate negatives. And here's what you can do. Say you are curling again and for simplicity purposes, you're targeting 10 reps and you get all the way to like number six and you realize you picked a weight that's way too light and you could go all the way to 15 with ease. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on when you curl up, I want you to bring that negative down and I want you to fight it and count all the way to like 10 or 15 as you fight it down. That negative or that lowering portion of the movement has been shown in research to actually stimulate more muscle fiber than the lifting portion of the movement. And this is a great way to stack the intensity to get more results. Now, another one that you can do similar to this is called partials. And this would be kind of the opposite. Say you picked a weight that's too heavy, you're targeting 10 reps and you get to like set, uh, rep number seven. Now all of a sudden you feel like you can't get three more out. I want you to do a partial movement. So on a curl, you'd curl up and say you can't get there, you'd force a rep up and I want you just to come like a little bit less, a little bit more than halfway down and then not go all the way up and you're just gonna start doing partial movements. You're gonna start pumping out partials. That's what we call partials. And you can do these on dozens of exercises. Now when you do this, you're going to feel the muscle tissue start to burn. That is a sign that you're producing lactate or lactic acid. And what lactic acid does is it stimulates more growth hormone. So this is an awesome way to help you burn more fat. Now we all know we want more growth hormone, right? Because it keeps us young. It's the anti-aging fat burning hormone. Now this is one of my theories of why people tell me that I look 25 and I'm really 40 years old because I've been doing these intensity stackers for so long. I think my body is constantly secreting natural growth hormone on a weekly basis. Okay, I'll admit it. 
Some of it probably has to do with genetics as well. Number four is up and down the mountain. So this is the last one, and this is a little bit more advanced technique. You can do this with a machine because you can move the pin up and down the rack, but I prefer to use dumbbells because I like free weights. Free weights are always going to be superior to machines every day of the week. So you know, anytime you can do body weight or free weights, you're going to get better results rather than machines. But machines can still be effective. So here's the deal. Up and down the mountain is basically you're picking three sets on the way up and you're picking, you're doing three sets on the way down. So if I walked over to the dumbbell rack, again, using a curl as an example, I'm going to start out with a weight that I can do about 20 times because I want to pick a light weight. And I'm going to shoot for target reps of 10 again, just to keep it simple and, and keep everything the same. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knock out 10 reps. And even though I could do 10 more, I'm going to set it down with no rest. And I'm going to move up 5 to 10 pounds. And I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to knock out 10 more. And even though I might be able to do 12 to 15, I'm going to stop at 10. I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to move up the rep one more time for a third time total. So three times up, 5 to 10 pounds. And I'm going to go ahead and knock out as many reps as I can. Now, by this point, I might not be able to even get to 10. So that third set on the way up, you want to go to failure. Now, when you get to failure and you can't do any more, set that weight down, and now we're going back down the mountain for three sets. So you're going to pick three weights now in a row that are going progressively lower, shooting for those 10 reps. And again, you're going to feel your muscles are on fire. In fact, using this technique, you'll feel like there's a blowtorch going to your muscles. And again, just remember, you're going to stimulate more fat-burning, anti-aging growth hormone as a byproduct of this type of technique. So hopefully this gives you some awesome techniques that you can use to stack the intensity in your workouts, get better results. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button and then keep a close eye on your email over the next day or two and, and come back here to the blog because I'm going to give you instant access to a killer free report I have about three reasons that your exercise plan is broken and three simple rules that you can follow to fix it. And I'm really excited to share this report with you. There's going to be no email required if you're on my email list. If you've got any questions about this stuff, just drop a comment and I'll try to help you out. We'll see you guys on the next one.